uh, begin our Mass today now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's Mass is being said uh, for all those and their intentions who gave to our appeal to restore and help us uh, with the Statue of Mary on top of this wonderful shrine and help us with the steeple. And so uh, we commend their prayers and intentions uh, to the intercession of Mary and in great confidence that she will hear them and take them to Jesus Christ, her son. And so the Lord be with you. And as we gather together, let us pause for a moment and call to mind our sins. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you sent your only son to free us from sin. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you came among us as a man to show us your, and call us into the family of your loving Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. And let us pray. God of mercy, we celebrate the feast of Mary, the sinless mother of God, on this, the day of Our Lady of Lourdes. May her prayers help us to rise above our human weakness. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her, all you who love her. Exult, exult with her, all you who were mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bodies flourish like the grass. The Lord's power shall be known to his servants. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> you are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. Blessed are you, daughter, by the Most High God, above all the women on earth, and blessed be the Lord God, the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. Your deeds of hope will never be forgotten by those who tell of the might of God. You are the highest honor of our race. And the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus uh, said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to her, woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told them, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, 
draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine, without knowing where it came from, although they who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs at Cana in Galilee, <clears throat> and so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Uh, just a thought for our reflection. Um, Mary, of course, brought Christ into the world, and uh, as the angel Gabriel told her, you, Holy One, uh, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and give birth to the child Jesus so that Jesus is the flesh and blood of, of Mary Immaculate. And uh, where Mary goes, um, she always in Scripture, wherever we see her in Scripture, Jesus is always there with her so that we know when we pray to Mary, Jesus is always there. But sometimes uh, we tend to forget that uh, because Jesus Christ is body and blood and uh, as much human and as he is divine, <clears throat> but uh, he has the flesh and blood of Mary, his mother, so that in some mystical, divine, uh, wonderful mystery, uh, when we see Christ, we see Mary too. And uh, that was brought out clearly by uh, John Paul II when he said we are accustomed to saying to Jesus through Mary, but he said it's also true to Mary through Jesus. And I offer that to you as a reflection, as a thought, for Mary is, of course, totally human and the most perfect human uh, that ever lived. As the responsorial says, you are the highest honor of our race. She was so full of the love of God that she could say to God, uh, we need help, and God responds. And so, too, do we now go to her and, <clears throat> and through her to Jesus Christ and to God with our needs and say to um, God, help us, Lord, through the intercession of your mother Mary. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. 